Hello folks and welcome to the Angus Experience. As you can see today, we're not sitting in the boat. We're actually coming to you from the studio. We've got a great show for you today. What we're doing is a 2005 year in review. And I went through all my emails and I picked the subject that was on there the most. And that subject was drop shotting. As you know, if you've watched the show throughout the year, we've done a lot of different drop shotting techniques for walleye, crappie, smallmouth, lake trout, you name it. We've used it for everything. And you folks have requested to see a little bit more. So what we're going to do today is take you through the shows that we had this year. I'm going to show you how to tie the drop shot because that was one of the emails I got a lot of. And we're going to sit down and explain it to you so you folks stick around. This is going to be fun. Angler's Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Oxart, your single source supplier. Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Easy Loader, all boat trailers are not created equal. And Honda Marine, it's all about power. Folks, we do a lot of different seminars across the area, and the one question I'm always asked is, Seth, if you had to choose from one presentation to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? And i got to be honest with you, folks, it'd be a drop shot tied up with a Berkeley 3-inch bass minnow. I tell you, this thing works for everything. We catch lake trout, bass, bluegill, perch, crappie, you name it, we've caught it with a drop shot. And I worry that sometimes I show it a little too much on the show, and maybe you folks out there in TV land are starting to lose interest with it, but I keep getting emails about it. And if the one thing I could tell you to do to become a better fisherman is to get educated about drop shotting. And if you want to get educated about drop shotting, we've got a special thing coming up for you at the end of the show. But first, let's watch a little crappie action. This is a good one. Oh, he's pulling down pretty hard. Oh yeah, look at that one there. That one there almost calls for a net. Holy smokes. Right there, my friend, was a nice crappie. Look at the mouth on that fish. Hook just popped out. Look at the size of the mouth on that fish. Wow, big belly, full of eggs. That is a beautiful crappie right there, folks. Not quite sure how long that fish is. Let's take a quick measurement of it right here. That crappie right there is about 14 inches long. 14 inch crappie. That is a nice one. Whew, man, buddy, you are a nice fish. Let's get a weight on you here. Real quick, I don't want to hurt you. I'll get the boga grip out. I'm guessing you got to be around a pound and a half. Fish there is a pound and a half on the boga grip. That's a big crappie for us up here in the northwest. All right, buddy. Get you back in the water. Get you small. Boy, that fish is nice. There you go, girl. Thank you very much. There's one right there. Got him. Got him. Oh, it's a good one, too. Oh, he's got me around that rope. Oh, man. There's a rope down there, and he is... Oh! There he goes. He swam through it. 
Everybody just want to take a look at you. Oh yeah. There, another nice grub. Well, you don't want to be left, do you, bud? There we go. Well, the hook and everything just popped right out. Wow, man. I just love these things. I just love them to death. Drop shot and crappie silly today, boys. See you later, my friend. Thank you very much. Folks, I gotta tell you, that right there was probably one of the best crappie days I've ever had. And you know how that all started out? We actually headed out that day to go bass fishing. And when I'm on the boat, I can guarantee that my cameraman, Mickey, he's sitting back there and he's got a drop shot rod in his hand. And how be, I wasn't flipping docks for bass and he's out there flipping that drop shot along and he started catching big crappie. And all of a sudden we went from a bass show to a crappie show and that's how that show got started. It's a great technique for crappie guys, but it also worked for walleye. Watch this. Fish on. That fish is just sitting there. Can't even move this fish. See the glow. Folks, this is a big fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get it in the boat or not. I need a net man bad. Come on, Seth. Put it to it, buddy. Do it. Get in there. Yes. Ah. Whoo! Folks, I'm telling you what. This right here is a spring walleye. Be careful with this fish. Don't want to hurt this fish. That is a spring walleye, folks. That is what it's all about right there. Man, oh man. Wish you were here. Whew. All right, let's get her back in the water. Don't want to hurt this fish. We got to be very, very careful with these big fish like this. Okay, darling, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go do your thing, baby. Let her get some air here. There she goes. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Folks, one of the most frequent questions that I get asked through emails and through running into people out there when I'm out fishing or I'm in the fishing store is how to actually tie the drop shot. And I went back through all the shows that we did this year and I apologize because I never really got down to the nitty gritty on how to tie it. I get going along and I'm explaining other things and I kind of forget the basis. So what I want to do here is I want to show you how to tie it. And what we're going to do, I've made a big hook here out of soft core lead, so don't laugh at my hook job right here. And I've got some big nylon ropes so that you can see how this is done. What you're going to do, you've got your leader, like so. You got one end that's going to have the weight attached to it, which is this end of my left hand, and then you got the other end, which is going to your rod. And what you want to do is determine how much leader you want to use. So what I usually do is about 25 to 30 inches right in that neighborhood. So I'll pull it out. I've got about two feet, three feet. All you do is bend it in half. Grab your hook. You want to hold it in this position here. And you come up through the bottom with your loop, like so. So you're in this position here. Now all you're going to do is cross that guy over itself, make a figure eight knot, just like when you're tying, start to tie your shoes. So you're in this position right here. And then what you do, this is just a polymer knot. We take this loop, we put our hook through that guy right there. Now we pull it down tight, making sure that this loop here doesn't get stuck down below. It gets up on top. Pull it down snug. Now here's the trick to the drop shot knot. We've got our dropper piece, which is going to attach our weight. You have to come back down through the top with this tag in like this. And what that does is it rolls that knot 
up inside like so. Then we would attach our weight, and when it's rigged properly, that hook will sit in that position right there. And that's all you got to do. It's very simple, guys. Just a polymer knot, then we take that tag in, drop it back down through, to hold that hook in place just like that. Nick, if I tell you to drop the camera net, this fish is doing okay. This, I can't believe this, Nick. I can't move this fish. Oh my God. I had to throw the rain gear on. It started raining out. And had to get dressed up for the weather. Pulled into another spot here. We hit this fish. Another spring walleye, I tell you. We've battled the conditions today. We toughed it out. My heart's in my throat. We're hoping the better weather's coming. Looks like the sun's going to come out and we're going to get a good evening in. But I tell you what, that is a big, big fish right there. I had to have the cameraman drop the camera to net it for me. What a beauty. We're going to put this fish back. Oh, okay, come on, darling. You're all right. You are a big girl. She needs to catch her breath. She got me out of breath. You're all right, baby. You're all right, girl. That fish fought a hard battle. There she goes. Healthy as an ox. Yeah! You get up in the morning, you head down to your favorite lake, and you get there and you can't even hardly see because there's a huge fire. You've got high pressure. The tournament was just fished the day before and you gotta go out and smallmouth fish. What are you gonna do? That was a question I had to ask myself when I did this show. There's one right there. There. Come on here, buddy. Nice fish. Eat it up, bud. Get that out of your face here. There we go. That's a nice fish. Two and a half pounds, two and a quarter, right in that neighborhood. Nice small one. Let's get you back in there, bud. There he comes. There he comes. I think this is a nice small mouth. Oh, man. He's shaking his head real bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a big small out there, guys. Here we go. Look at that smallie. Ate that drop shot up. Ate it up right there. That is a beautiful fish right there, guys. That's what we came here to do. Drop shot these big smallies like this early spring. Little tiny minnow bait right there, fool. That is a beauty. That fish right there is pushing four pounds. That is a beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. All right, let's put it back. Once again, folks, the drop shot saved the day, and we were able to make a smallmouth show out of that. I tell you, I told you we had a surprise for you coming up at the end of the show. And what we've done, we're pretty excited here at the Angles Experience. We've just released a DVD called Drop Shot Secrets Revealed. It's going to be available online at www.axfishing.com. You can click on the store. It'll walk you through the purchase process. But the exciting thing about this is I've got all my tips and tricks on there, stuff that nobody's ever seen before that I've kind of kept to myself just because it was something that I did and it's something that not a lot of people were doing, and I have opened it up to the public. So we're excited about it. Log on. Take a look at it. If you're interested, you can purchase it. As always, I want to thank you for staying with us for 2005. I want to wish you a happy holiday season. We look forward to seeing you in 2006.